Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. You know, last year I really didn't get to enjoy fall at all because we had a transfer and a house move, and this year I am really enjoying my craft. So, I have this cute little adorable farmhouse sign I made and these burlap pumpkins made from a jack-o'-lantern bucket, an old-fashioned orange pail. So cute. I'm going to link the tutorial video below and hope you'll enjoy watching this video. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping in. This is um, a continuation of some of my fall projects, uh, do-it-yourself, and uh, the majority of these particular um, DIYs came from inspiration of just watching some fall tutorials on YouTube, um, Dollar Tree um, products, and um, just kind of putting together just a you know a little theme of some sort and uh, this is what I came up with and I kind of wanted to share a few of these with you I've showed one or two of them before but I kind of wanted to show you the detail of what I did and how simple it is to do and really um, a good way to add to your fall decor or change it up if you're in the mood to change it up. Um, they're simple, they're easy, they're fun to do, and um, really very um, cost effective. So one of the things that I have shown is um, this particular little sign that I purchased at um, Dollar Tree. Now, the entire sign was done in this kind of bronzy sparkle all through here. And this is the actual little sign um, that came with this little pumpkin silhouette. And I liked the sign, um, the truck and the pumpkin, because I also bought a um, ceramic type, um, I think it's made out of resin, truck that had the back filled with little pumpkins and I put that in the lower level of my um, um, round table that a lamp table and then I put this above it so I kind of wanted to just go around the house after decorating and kind of group like things together and I really really loved this picture now I wasn't crazy about the glitter um, you know I could have gone ahead and just painted over that but I decided I was just gonna go ahead and leave the picture as is but I went ahead and I covered the outline with jute and I just wrapped it all around and then I just left the stem the kind of a bronze um, glitter color because I thought well that kind of brings out a little dimension to the picture and then um, this particular little um, burlap flower I believe you know I'm not sure but I actually think I got this at <sighs> Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby I just know that there were very few left and I I think I snatched one of the last ones that I saw that particular day, but um, this particular um, picture um, actually came from Dollar Tree. And along the same line, it's really simple, and I'll show you another project I did to just paint the back. You know, remove the stickers and just paint the back if you like the picture in the front and you want to keep it. But what I did was I just added this little burlap um, flower to it. I just thought it kind of, you know, jazzed it up. And then to kind of go along with the theme of the traditional fall colors and the truck and the pumpkin, I just put um, hot glued some silk leaves on the outside. So it just kind of gives it that 3D look. Now this was super inexpensive. The whole picture was 99 cents, frame and all. And this, I believe, if it came from Hobby Lobby, I think it actually was $2.99. If it came from Dollar Tree, then it was just a dollar. And these were just a couple of clippings of silk flowers that I had. And of course, I usually buy my jute in the big um, spools. So, you know, it does take a, 
a bit of jute and it does take some time to cover it but I just think it gives it that nice country kind of farmish look and um, I just love this little sign I it was just one of my um, projects that um, I did that I just really loved the way it turned out so I wanted to share that with you because that was really simple and easy another little um, project I did was I just took my pillar candles um, that I have the LED light in and um, I wrapped a piece of um, burlap that it comes in the spool and um, I did not hot glue it now in the back I have it held together and I kind of pushed the burlap away from the pillar and just took a little bit of hot glue and just closed the end there but I didn't want it sticking to the candle because if you use a hot glue gun and you know you hot glue things on you need to be pretty pretty you need to be you know really precise with where you're placing something and the amount of glue that you use because if you try to remove it a lot of times it's really difficult to get off without you know tearing up your uh, background but what I did was then I just wrapped a little piece of jute um, just around the burlap and then just stuck a little silk leaf in there just to dress it up a little and these I have two candles that are by my fireplace and they're on some black wrought iron um, candlestick holders the tall ones and um, I just thought okay this is great to do something that won't stay permanent and I can just go ahead and remove the leaf because I just stuck it in there I didn't glue it in and then for Christmas if I want to keep with the theme of the burlap I can just add um, some Christmas decos to it and you know just kind of spruce up the candle a little bit so that's a fun simple easy thing to do to dress um, a candle up and um, for example, just um, I purchased some of this green leafy garland and I got this at Dollar Tree. And um, sometimes just adding a little hit of green, it'll be really cute for Christmas time. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can do. And I just think it's economical and inexpensive when you take something that you have that's old and just spruce it up just a little bit you know I didn't want to over embellish and I'll tell you why next um, well not next I'll save it to the end so another picture that is um, this same particular picture here and I will show that to you I'll show you what I did with that one And this one I absolutely love. It says a farmhouse. And I kind of kept with the same theme, but as you can see, this one I actually went ahead and covered the whole um, stem, all the glitter, and I just glued a couple of little cotton, um, you know, replica cotton flowers there. And I did the whole outline. Um, trim again I did it the same way and just wrapped it in the twine and then this is actually the back of the picture because this is the original picture and um, I went ahead and left this picture because it says welcome fall and if fall ever really does get here with its coolness I'll flip it over on that day and say welcome fall but I liked this picture so I didn't want to paint over it but what I did was I added a little bit of uh, cream colored paint through the edges here just to kind of keep it along with this um, farmhouse theme now this picture this is exactly how it comes it's just this little tiny piece of um, it's good board it accepts paint really really well and um, what I did here is I painted the whole um, back of the picture and I did it first in what was called antique white and then I went over it with a light color of um, it was a light tan beige and a little bit of gray that I just mixed up 
and then I just went over it and with a wet rag after I painted it I just kind of took off that paint and went back over with the paintbrush just to kind of give it you know like a worn wood look and then I took some stain and I just with my cloth I just went down and made some lines to give it the effect of looking like an old um, a, looking like old barn wood and then um, I just kind of you know rubbed with the wet rag around and then took a little bit of the stain and went over it after I had done the lettering now what I did with the lettering is this all of this area here was done in this antique white so I went ahead and took the sticky um, letters and I spelled out farmhouse and then I went over the letters in this brownish color here um, completely covered it all the way around and after it dried I peeled it off and this was the background that was left and that's how I got the white on with that lettering and these were just letterings that I found alphabet letterings that I found um, at Target in the dollar spot and mm, I say dollar spot, but there's very little there that's just a dollar. It's usually three dollars. But a package of those letters comes with two of each letter, so it's really, really great. Um, and it just they stick on very well. And what I did was I just took my paintbrush and painted right over the lettering, and um, I painted over the lettering um, pretty much this outside color, and then I stripped the um, letters off like I said after it dried and this is what I was left with and then I just put a um, burlap leaf um, I found a couple of these at Dollar Tree and I would have bought a whole bunch more but they were pretty much picked over and then stuck these two little cotton um, flowers on there and those I believe I bought a bag of these over at Hobby Lobby but this I just thought came so cute and I loved it, and I love the versatility of being able to still show the sign in its original <laughs> state. But if you wanted to, you could paint the back of that, too. And um, and then, like I said, I just took a little bit of um, twine roping and just hot glued it all around. Now this, I literally have lying right, or I have this placed right in front of a great big, huge... Um, lantern that I have in my hallway and my lantern is up on a little stool and I just have this resting right in front of it. It just looks really so it's paired very well with the lantern and this um, old kind of rustic looking sign and I just thought it was so cute. So that was another project that I worked on with that same type of um, let me show you. Oops. Sign. Boop. A little flower. And with flowers like these that are, you know, big and I don't hot glue those to um, anything because you can wrap the stem around them and then if I want to take it off and use it for something else, I can. But these are the same type of signs and I just thought that they both came really, really cute. And I love them. And next, I have this little sign that also says farmhouse. And I have this hanging in my kitchen. Now, this is a round disc um, little board that I bought in the dollar spot at Target. Um, it was $3. And it was kind of a sort of like a like a bronze semi-metallic finish on it it was just this round base so I again took it painted it antique white and I mixed in this time a little bit of wicker white with it because I had a little more yellow in it and um, did the same technique I did the lettering um, farmhouse and I kept that area in the white and then I went over the um, lettering in this 
brown kind of tan color that I painted over it. And I, I have to tell you, I did paint this thing a couple of times because I just wasn't getting the look I wanted. I wanted a really, really distressed look and it seemed like it was coming, you know, just too even. So I took a, my paintbrush and I just hit a little bit of the gray and I just went in a couple of different places um, just to, you know, mar it up or make it distressed, give it that um, kind of old wood look. And I was pretty happy when I finished it as to how it um, turned out because I just thought it was really cute and I had the perfect wall to hang it on in my kitchen. And then I took a burlap um, ribbon again and made my own and just hot glued this one on and then I added this greenery. And this I just thought, okay, this is fine all year round. It's just really cute. I took a piece of jute and I hot glued it and I also used some of my... Um, uh, my glue that's the um, 6,000 just along with the hot glue just to make sure that it um, stays intact and then I didn't do anything to the back I mean I still have the sticker on it but you could have you could paint the back if you want but no need to because no one's gonna see it and uh, again a cute simple little project that literally costs next to nothing and I just thought it just kind of goes along with um, some of my a farmhouse, um, some of the farmhouse items that I have that it just kind of blends really well. And what I did on this, if you can see it a little, yeah, it's you see that little. I went ahead and put Mod Podge on this um, over the entire board and let it dry just to kind of give it a little bit of a um, sheen. And um, on this particular sign here you can kind of see the difference because did I do that on this one? Oh, I do I did I think I did I did go ahead and put the Mod Podge on both because it just kind of brightens it up a little bit especially after you've put two or three different layers of paint on and distressed it and stain it just kind of gives it that little sheen so I like that so this was another little project that, like I said, was very inexpensive and I just thought came so cute. And you know, the more irregular your brush strokes and your, you know, using a rag and the little marks that come across, I just think that really makes it, it or it really gives it that old fashioned look. And I like that. And this is my little pumpkin, and I'll just kind of show you. This is the back of it. And um, what this is, is just a pumpkin trick-or-treat pail. It's the orange one. And I really had a hard time finding the jack-o'-lantern um, trick-or-treat pail. They have buckets now. We have some that are shaped like kettles and the others are just shaped like regular buckets, buckets and then the handles light up and I just wanted the old-fashioned traditional pumpkin and uh, I finally at Walmart um, you know I was like wow these stores are putting out all of their Christmas items and they some of them don't even have their um, pails out their traditional looking pails but I went to Walmart and they did have them they had them on the very top shelf so I don't even think that they've you know brought them down yet but anyways um, this was a really fun project um, I got the inspiration from a YouTube that I watched and I kind of um, I didn't use the same materials but I went along with the same um, idea of how she did it and I think it came really really good now this took a little bit more time and uh, not that it took um, you know um, products that were hard to find because they were simple but what I did was I wanted it a little bit dressier and I actually was making it for my tea cart out on my front porch because I did find a small little mini bale of hay and I wanted to uh, do a burlap pumpkin for out there and it came so cute that I'm like I don't really want to put it outside so good thing when I went to Walmart that I bought two pails now this is how I did this one and I'm just 
I'm going to link her video below. It's a long video, but she really does show you step by step. Um, what you do is I took three flat rocks and I'm not sure what she used. She talked about you can fill the bottom with anything because you know the pails are so light. So fill it with anything, but you want something to weigh it down, like stones outside, or I just took three large flat stones and I literally glued them to the bottom so they wouldn't move around. And then you stuff the inside with wrapping paper, um, plastic bags, whatever you want. Just stuff the inside so that it comes to the top and you get a nice, even, flat top so that it doesn't sink in. And then um, her instructions were to take a um, paper plate, um, and I used like a china because it's a little bit stronger, and just cut out the circumference for the bottom and for the top. Now, I kept the bottom. You can see what the bottom looks like and you don't see it when it's sitting, but that became the bottom. And if you'll notice, you'll see that this does not run across the bottom at all. So after you do that and you cover the top, what you do is you cover the whole entire pumpkin in brown paper, and that really covers the entire orange. And um, it went really fast. You just cut long strips, and I think I cut them four inches long, and then I measured um, across from the top to the bottom and just glued them all on. And then when I got the, it all glued on, I just kind of smoothed it all down. If you listen, you can kind of hear there's paper behind there. And then you kind of start the process of... Um, well, I can't really show you because I've got this all glued and decorated, but you literally take your burlap roll and you run it across the top to the very bottom, but not underneath because you want to keep this as flat as can be so it doesn't end up sitting um, crooked. And then you just hot glue the sides of your um, burlap and then you overlap them. Now, I wasn't real particular. I just went across, um, you know, as I was covering it up. And then um, what you do for the top, because you're starting at the bottom and you're actually going over the top to the very bottom end here and then you take another piece and drape it over and the process goes really fast but when you get to the top you take your top two layers and you stick pipe cleaners um, long ones inside and then you just twist it and then that kind of gathers all of this at the top and then I'll show you the back the pipe cleaners are inside here and um, what I did was I just twisted raffia and I hot glued the raffia around this end. I took a little, um, maybe a two inch piece of a uh, used up toilet paper roll. You could use a paper towel roll and just kind of about two inches from here, from the bottom to this portion here is the toilet paper roll just to give it some strength. And then I just hot glued raffia right over it. And then when I finished, I went around with jute just to about the top. You can see the jutes right under there. And then when I took the raffia, I just opened it up and twisted it and uh, just made the stem and then hot glued it down. I made the bow. Um, I thought this was really pretty ribbon and just clipped a couple of um, flowers and a pumpkin. And those I purchased at um, Big Lots. No. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. And so, again, a really fun project, um, quick to work, and just it just came so adorable. And so, what I did was, even though I said I was making this for my tea cart, I'm going to have to make another one. Um, but what I did was I put these, I placed these together. The two pillars are upright and this sits between the two pillars in front of my fireplace and that's why I kind of picked up the same color on the candles. So those are my projects and um, I know I keep saying this like I'm done, but 
I think I'm pretty much done for fall stuff and um, what I have gathered for this year I'll probably continue to work on projects and have them for next year um, use them as gifts uh, give some away and uh, I'm going to start on thinking about you know a couple of wreaths for Christmas and um, I already started one I do not have it decorated but it's just with the burlap and ruffling it and that was I'll show that when I get to that point but um, yeah this I think was one of my favorite projects that I did for this year I think this and these signs here I just think they came so cute and they look so cute together if this is your style um, but very economical and cheap. Now, I will say, I did spend a little bit more on this kind of burlap because it kind of has this embroidery um, ribbon stitched onto it, and it was a little more expensive at Michael's, but I didn't even use the roll. So I believe one roll probably would work for two of these this size pumpkins. So... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully.